Welcome everybody to this, to today's episode. Today is our 10th cruise news episode. <laughs> um, so today we've got a pretty cool topic. We are back on the topic of Carnival Cruise Line. And we got more exciting news from Carnival. So, Carnival has taken delivery of Carnival Horizon as of early April. So it's been a while, I'm just now getting around to filming this because of school and finals and all that, so just now getting around to it, I'm sorry. But Carnival has taken delivery of the all new Carnival Horizon featuring the all new guys barbecue and all sorts of the Suits waterworks and things like that. So congratulations to Carnival for that. And now that Horizon is out and sailing the seas, we have our next, we have the Carnival Panorama, which was named also a while ago, just now getting around to saying this. Carnival Panorama will be the third of the Vista class ships. This was originally actually going to be P&O's first ever new ship until they found out they couldn't handle a ship that large. And this is, this is back when if you remember my video about the Carnival Splendor and all that, the Carnival Splendor was originally going to be traded and Carnival Splendor was going to leave Carnival Cruise Lines and go sail for P&O Australia as their biggest ship and we were going to get Vista 3 or Panorama. And then several months ago Carnival said, we're actually going to keep the Splendor and we're going to keep the Panorama. And now it was Golden Princess is now going to be that taking that spot for P&O as that new big ship. So now we get to keep Carnival Splendor and we now get to keep Carnival Panorama. Cool thing about this, cool thing about this is now that we are keeping both. Currently Carnival Splendor is over out of Long Beach doing the seven night cruises from there and in 2019, late 2019, when Carnival takes delivery of the brand new Carnival Panorama, Carnival Splendor is going to be leaving and still going to Australia, but under Carnival instead of P&O, which is good. So now Carnival is going to have a second full-time ship along with the legend that is down there part-time during the season, or I guess seasonal. And Carnival Panorama is going to be over out of Long Beach as their newest and largest ship out of Long Beach. I guess it's technically their largest. Anyways, this is going to be their first new ship in about 20 years that they've stationed, that they've based out of Long Beach. So that's a pretty big step for them. That they have a lot of faith and all that into the Long Beach. They just completely renovated that terminal to handle the ship that big. It'll be doing the seven night itineraries as of December of 2019. Now, a lot I've seen a lot of people asking, is there going to be a transatlantic? Is there going to be a Panama Canal cruise? And I wish Carnival will not be doing a transatlantic cruise or a Panama Canal cruise for the Carnival Panorama. This is because the the way the lifeboats are set up, where they're kind of hanging under that lanai deck. Uh, I guess something to do with the canal. It there's a possibility of them hitting the edges or the walls, or at least that's my theory on it. According to John Heald. It, the ship is too wide and I'm guessing that's the reason since Norwegian Bliss, which I'm actually on at the time this uploads, definitely a lot bigger than the panorama, but it can fit through and my theory is is because the lifeboats on the Bliss are tucked in and the ones on the panorama are hanging out. That's my theory. I could be completely wrong, but it does have to do something with the width of the ship and so unfortunately there will not be a Panama Canal transit for the Carnival Panorama or a transatlantic cruise 
So she she's actually going to be sailing empty from the shipyard for the 20 days around South America and up to Long Beach. Carnival didn't want to have passengers on that because they think it would be too long of a cruise and I guess too much. I'm not really sure. I think it would be pretty cool at least just to offer it. I don't know how how much they would fill it, but it would be a very cool cruise to do, especially on something new. So unfortunately there is no transatlantic or Panama Canal for the Carnival Panorama. I forgot what I was going to say. One thing about the Panorama that they have already said that's going to be different from the Vista and the Horizon will be that there is no IMAX theater. I don't know. We don't know yet what's going to be replacing it. They said there's also going to be a couple special touches that are going to be different from Vista and Horizon. We are a little too far out to know what those are just yet, but we will know very soon in the future. That's it for this cruise news episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are as excited as I am about Carnival Panorama joining the fleet. And thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Click that bell to to be notified every time I upload. Since I am on the Norwegian Bliss, technically not right now, but at the time of this uploads, I have a lot of, I have a couple of videos scheduled to upload while I am gone. So there will be every Monday and Friday at noon. And then when I get home from the Bliss, I will have all the Bliss videos going up Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure you click that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.